Don't go around on the road. Because he's just a tour rat right here. A tour rat, you know. That anyway. makes me mad. Hey, we're out of here. We got to go. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Heels and Quads YouTube channel. I am Levi, not joined by Tommy this time, but his pick of the week is also on the channel. Spoiler alert, that's what we're here to do. This is a new content we're going to bring you guys. It's called Picks of the Week, and it's where we'll just throw something at you that we're listening to, watching, playing. I mean, I game a lot, so probably going to be a lot of that happening. And just easily digestible, you know, versus a long podcast. So this is my first one. We'll get the show on the road because it's supposed to be quick, easy, and harmless. We talked about doing YouTube shorts, all that stuff, but this is kind of, we're going to do this and we'll, I'm sure we'll bring a lot more content at some point. So my pick of the week is also an album. It's from a band called Three Teeth. And if you have listened to the show, you know I love this band. They're a modern industrial metal band. And as soon as I found them, I believe it was their song Pit of Fire off of their second album Shutdown on Playlist that I heard. And I was like, wow, this is different, and it's industrial, and I love it. So my pick, though, is their third album, Meta War. And it's signed by the guitarist there, you know, big deal. Uh, sweet artwork. Um, it was produced by Sean Beaven, who's produced Marilyn Manson, Guns N' Roses, Nine Inch Nails. He's done a lot, of, a lot of the big ones. He's a great producer, and he did a fantastic job on this album. So Three Teeth's catalog... Their first album is very much electronic with a little bit of guitar, industrial, samples, all that good stuff. Their second album, Shutdown.exe, it's like the first one, but with a lot more guitar and a different kind of similar production, but a bit different. I think Sean Beaven might have had something to do with Meta War, but uh, I don't think he produced... I don't think he produced... Uh, no, he did produce Shutdown, right? No. No, they produced it. So, anyways. This song has quite a few singles on it. And I get rambly, so this might be all over the place. I don't know. This song has about six singles on it. It has American Landfill, which is the first one that was released. I'll never forget because I was dying for this album. About the time I got into them, they were kind of talking about working on this new record and American Landfill came out, I was like, holy shit, this blows my socks off. The guitar tone was just something, like, I, I still go for recreating it all the time when I'm playing guitar. That seven string right there, that white one, that Schechter, that was inspired, I was inspired by Chase Brauner, the guitarist, to get that. Um, and, and I knew I wanted a seven string, but he, this band kind of sealed the deal once I figured out he played seven string guitars. I was like, wow, you can make it sound like that? So I had to get one. I think he plays in drop F or something like it. it's pretty low. Um, American Landfill Exit. That's another really good single off the album. And like I said, there's six. Affluenza, which is ironically about seven to eight months before the pandemic hit. Six, seven months before the pandemic really hit. Listen to the song and you'll, you'll know what I'm saying. I mean, the, the title kind of says it. Affluenza. Uh, President X, probably the biggest song off the album, and when they're live, I saw them live in August 2019, when they usually played it as their encore around that time, and Lex, the singer, would come back out in a lizard outfit with a suit. So he'd have the lizard mask and the suit, and President X is a killer song, just a real, real good hook to it on the guitar and everything. I, I, I love their music. Pumped Up Kicks, they did a cover of, which is far better than the original. I like the original, but this is a just a very dark version of it, which is, I think, the tone for that song. Much darker with the synth and everything. So, and then Alter, Alter, I think I just say Alter. It's the A-E, like tools, Anima, A-L, A-L-T-A-E-R. Um, that's their singles on it. Time Slave is great, just real heavy and in your face. Sell Your Face 2.0. That one is kind of a continuation of their original one on youtube you can find the original sell your face this is the 2.0 edition and it's just heavy as ever i love it blackout in the fall they kind of finished the album leading into pumped up kicks pumped up kicks is the last song but blackout in the fall they're a bit different uh, they're almost like this poppy synth hook at times but it, it it's 
very well done, and, and I love it. I'd say probably your first seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, your first ten tracks are pretty in your face. And at least, you know, they might start out slow, but then, then jump in your face. Yeah, I saw this band live. I mean, their sweat was hitting me in the face. I loved it. It was in Kansas City at a, at a smaller venue. And I bought a shirt, naturally. You can, you can support them. I think it's their website, just Three Teeth or op, OMF.com or something like that. Operation Mindfuck. Uh, yeah, so if you want to check this band out, I highly recommend going in order from their first album to Meta War. And then they do have a new album they're working on. I cannot wait for it. I don't know when it's going to be out. I, I really, I would like to know so I can look forward to it. But then at the same time, the, uh, the excitement kind of hurts sometimes, like waiting, like Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, so anyways, I, I definitely recommend this album. And if you want something different and newer, just modern industrial metal, it's like if Ministry and Ramstein and Manson kind of had some kind of weird baby but it's not though because three teeth is their own thing you just have to check it out but yeah like i said their first album is very electronic oriented their second one with a little bit of guitar their second one is electronic with more guitar a lot more guitar and then meta war is just a blend a perfect blend of electronic drums bass guitar and lex's vocals like it all came together very well with meta war and i think that's part of that is sean beaven's production as well but also the band, they're very talented, man. I love this band. I can't wait for their new album. And I dare you to go check them out. So check out Three Teeth, man. Support them. Give them some love. And I'll be jamming on that all the time. Check us out over at patreon.com slash heels and quads. You get content early, ad free, all that good stuff. And a once a month hangout, exclusive content. A lot of cool stuff going on over there. And then, of course, prowrestlingtees.com slash heels and quads. You can buy some of our merch over there. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next week for the pick of the week. And also, we'll see you on the podcast. Peace.